Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, today's tutorial will be focusing on the known sound problem on the Galaxy S10. So if you're having an issue where you're having no sound on the Samsung Galaxy S10, S10e, or S10 Plus, or other similar devices, I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot major problems that might be causing the, the um, no sound um, problem. All right, so right away, guys, just go ahead and follow these tips in the order given and the first thing you want to make sure guys is to check your headphone jack and of course the headphone jack is found down here and sometimes what can happen is that if there's dirt or lint in the jack the dirt or lint will end up um, basically making the phone think that it's in headphone mode and if the phone thinks it's in headphone mode if the phone think it's in headphone mode, what will happen is that no sound will play. So to fix this problem, I suggest that you get something like a Q-tip or something like that. Or a piece of um, cotton swab or even a piece of um, bathroom um, tissue or toilet paper. Basically fold it and then get it in there and actually clean out the port. Um, once it's clean, guys, of course, um, it should fix the issue. Also, you might notice there is a headphone connected when there is not one. So that's the first thing to look out for. Second, guys, you can also um, turn up the volume. I know it sounds strange, but make sure that the volume buttons are working. So just go ahead and turn them all the way up. Sometimes they are turned down too low. And of course, when they're turned down too low, they're in vibration mode. And of course, you need to turn them all the way up. All right. So just go ahead and do that. And once you do that, um, again, go ahead and test to make sure um everything is okay if you're not able to turn up the volume it could be that the buttons are broken and your device is stuck in a mode where the volume is too low so that's the first or the second thing to check out for the third tip guys is to restart your phone sometimes your phone is on for a very long time as with many other problems it just simply needs a restart before it basically recalibrates and works fine so just go ahead and restart or power down once you power down just go ahead again and basically power back up once you power back up you should be um good and just go ahead and test to see if everything is working by playing a music or a song or something like that um other thing to try guys is to see if bluetooth is on sometimes bluetooth is on and you do not know especially if you use a headset the headset would be connected and of course you're playing your music thinking that something is wrong when the audio is being sent to your um, wireless um, earbuds or your headset all right so just check that and do that by just turning off the bluetooth feature and check it i recently had a friend who um, basically was having a similar issue he couldn't figure it out only to find that his daughter was in the other room and opened up his um, bag taking out his bluetooth headset and i turned it on and of course all the audio was going to the headset without him knowing and he was trying to play the audio and of course he was not getting any audio at all so that's just something to bear in mind all right another thing to try guys is to go ahead and um, do a basic reset and this type of reset do not worry you'll not lose any um, um, files so you don't need to back up anything so just go down in settings to general management once you're in general management go to reset and this time the reset you're looking for is reset app preferences so you're gonna um, just do reset app preferences and it's this option that says reset all settings to their defaults all right so once you do that you're just going to choose the first one up here that says reset settings and it says reset all settings to their defaults all right so it's going to return stuff to their default especially if you have been changing stuff without knowing what they were everything will be restored to its default just follow the on-screen instruction after tapping that option and you will be good Another thing to check in case something has been changed is to go to settings again, guys. Go down to apps. Once you're in apps, you're going to reset all apps preferences. And of course, the option is here that says reset app preferences. This will come up. And of course, let's go ahead and hit reset. For me, I won't do it as I've already done all of that. So let's go, I'm just going to cancel. But for you, just hit reset. And of course, all app preferences will be reset. And you can go ahead and check again. All right. Another thing to try, guys, is to go into settings. And this time, you're going to go down to sounds and vibrations. Once you're in sound and vibrations, next you're going to go to volume. Once you're in volume, guys, just make sure that all of these options in here have volume. So, for example, it says system here is muted, notifications is muted, and ringtones. All right, guys, so once you um, turn up the volume, you'll realize that you need um, volume on all of these. Make sure they're high enough as well. So you can just turn them up at least to halfway or so on. And once you do that, um, it should get rid of um, any no sound issues. 
if this is what's causing the problem all right so that's the other thing to try um other things you can try guys if all of these still fail um is you can um check for updates um if it's a system bug like with the device itself good idea to go into um, settings software update and of course download and install updates make sure you're connected to the internet and that will help in updating you with all the latest patches and stability fixes especially these are released on a monthly basis um the other thing guys is that a app on your device could be causing the problem and if a app on your device is causing the problem it's most likely a recently installed app so let's go check your recent installs and if you have done at least your last three apps or two apps just go ahead and un uninstall them you can always reinstall them later um, especially if it, the problem does not um, go away so just hold and of course uninstall and once you're finished reboot your phone key thing is to reboot your phone to give it a refresh if you do not reboot your phone sometimes after uninstall you will not notice the effects and of course you might think it does not work and of course guys um, the last issue is that you may have a hardware issue it doesn't happen often as these devices are highly tested but it can happen and you might have also damaged your speakers so you might have to take this in to the Samsung store to have it checked and of course they will either give you a new device or have the one that you have repaired or basically um, send you a loaner until they fix the one that you have brought in and of course guys if it's under warranty it's always best to use your warranty all right guys so those have been about um, nine key tips to use in getting the no sound issue or no sound problem fix on the galaxy s10 s10 plus this is of course the s10 plus now that it matters as it will work on any samsung galaxy s10 all right guys we're gonna go and say bye until next time bye